Is it necessary to tell your partner before you make a big purchase? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And as Jen has already mentioned, we're going to be talking about communicating when making big purchases. And when it comes to relationships, I think it really depends on the stage of your relationship. Yeah. Because if your boyfriend, girlfriend only been dating for a month or two months or even a year, it's really not necessary. But what we're talking about is that marriage stage. And I think, well, we think that it is necessary to communicate to your partner and let them know whenever you're making a big purchase so you guys are just on the same page. Yeah, it definitely um, builds transparency in the relationship, especially if when you're married, you're working toward common goals. So in order to achieve those common goals, you know, you have to communicate and be open about purchases, especially large purchases, because that purchase could very well be the one thing that can prevent you all from achieving your goal. So in order to have a healthy financial picture, we believe that it is very important to you know, be open and honest. I mean, sometimes I know it may be hard for your partner to understand <laughs> and be able to That's me, be able to understand why that purchase is justifiable. <laughs> but hey, if you want that two hundred dollar pair of shoes, maybe, or you want a two hundred dollar camera, whatever it may be, that is fine. But you have to communicate, and it also has to be within whatever you guys' means are for your financial picture. So if the goal is to save up for a house or something, but you're spending $200 here, $400 there, and your partner doesn't know about it, it's gonna make it very difficult yeah. to achieve those financial goals collectively. I mean, depending on the goals that you guys have, yeah. like you said, I think that is what really matters. Now, if you guys don't have any financial goals, well, that's problem number one. You, you guys need to have financial- Should always be working towards something. There should be financial goals set in place for mm -hmm. your marriage. But if there's not, then what reason is there to complain? Because you guys haven't set any boundaries. You guys haven't set any limits up in your financial spending. Now, you touched on something earlier where, where you said, you know, this is for mar married couples, people that have been maybe together for a year, not so much, may not have to do that. But what about if they're living together? Do you Ooh. think that that's something that they should okay. talk about? No, that's, that's yeah. actually a re really good point. And I didn't mm -hmm. even think about that. But yeah. If you're living together, I think it's a different story. And actually, we were in that, that mm -hmm. predicament. because Where we did not even share. <laughs> because we were living together many years before yeah. we actually got married. Yeah. Uh, but yes, that's actually a good point. Because mm -hmm. if you are living together, you guys are sharing the biggest expense mm -hmm. of your monthly ex expenditures. Mm -hmm. So yes, I think you do. You should share mm -hmm. expenses and, and should uh, talk about big purchases in that instance because mm -hmm. you guys are sharing sharing resp financial responsibility exactly. together and let's say that you don't contribute as much as your partner and you live together when it comes to mm. sharing expenses it doesn't matter even if some your partner is in a situation where they can contribute more than you can to monthly expenses it's still important for you guys to share and communicate about large expenses because again as we said earlier it is something that affects both of you guys so even if you're not contributing as much you should still be open and honest about you know purchases and again not to say that you don't deserve it because everybody deserves to treat themselves to things or you know book a trip and do things like that but as long as you guys are communicating about it so that you can achieve your collective financial goals that's where it matters most yeah so like many of the videos that we've taken already what does it come back down to communication communication <laughs> it always comes back to communication mm -hmm. and just this simple principle of every time that you make a purchase over a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars mm -hmm. having having your partner there to say hey you know i'm gonna make this purchase mm -hmm. is that okay that just brings more trust and more yeah validity to yeah. your relationship yeah because you guys are still or you guys are acting on this in the same on the same page yeah 
And to add on to that, as we've been stating in our videos and as Shane has just mentioned how communication is so important, another thing is mindfulness. Mm. And when we when I mm. say mindfulness, I'm talking about how you approach the communication about making big purchases. Because the last thing you want to do is when you have to tell your partner that you're going to spend a certain amount of money, is it okay? You don't want to approach it in a way where it's like, oh, I have to check in with my, my right. husband or my yeah. wife to ask them, can I do something when I'm an adult? And it's not about that. You just have to be very mindful and approach it in a way of, hey, babe, you know, I'm thinking about doing X, Y, and Z. Is, and, is that cool? And the other thing about that is that the more times you mm -hmm. practice this, the yeah. more times it just becomes natural habit for mm -hmm. you to be on the same page and be yeah. able to check in yeah. with your partner and, and yeah. say, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm doing yeah. this. Is this okay? And, yeah. and go forward. And lastly, another thing that it does is, so we said communication, we said mindfulness, but this one right here, accountability. Mm. And it's so important because that is what's going to help you all achieve your financial goals together right. and individually. Right. Because you may say, hey, I really want to get this item and it costs $300, is it okay? And your partner may say, well, babe, I don't think that's okay. Right. And it's not because they don't want you to have those things. Your partner wants you to be happy and wants you to be able to uh, treat yourself to these things, but your partner also has to hold you accountable. Right. And if you guys have financial goals that you want to achieve collectively and also individually, there are going to be situations where your partner may say, babe, it's, it's not a good time to spend like that this month. So accountability, mm -hmm. that's an incredible point that you bring up because yes, like now that you're in this partnership, mm -hmm. you guys have to be on the same page. Yeah. And sometimes that purchase that you think is okay in mm -hmm. the moment, if maybe, maybe it, oh, was, yeah. an, it was an impulsive, impulsive, it was an yeah. impulsive mm -hmm. decision in the moment. Like, oh, I want this mm -hmm. or, oh, I got to have this but you weren't thinking about your goals yeah. overall. Yep. But then when you call your partner or you let your partner know, it's like, oh, well, you know, we're, we're saving yeah. up for this. Like, you I don't sure know if this is the best purchase right yeah. now. And then that will bring you back to reality and mm -hmm. get you back on track with whatever goal that you're setting, whether it's a house, whether it's for retirement, whether yeah. it's for anything. Yeah. And that accountability sharing that accountability with each other, that will bring both people back to reality and say, hey, mm -hmm. you know what? I got to put myself in check a little bit. Yeah. And maybe this isn't the best decision right now. Mm -hmm. So this is an incredible conversation. Yeah. I really, really enjoy it. And I really hope that you as the viewer, as you're listening to this podcast or this YouTube, that you're really getting some value from the content that we've been given. Mm -hmm. And we're having conversations about things that aren't often talked about. Yes. So I think this is really perfect and I really hope that you can get some value from it. And if you do, please tell a friend and tell that friend to tell another friend. <laughs> so we all can be friends. <laughs> <laughs> right. So my name is Shane. And I'm Jen. Enjoy the journey. Bye.